Plotsam should be just beyond the point. We'll take the beach. Who's we? You and me. Reconnaissance. I'm coming too. You should stay behind. We can't be sure of the reception we'll get. Precisely why I won't let you go alone. Someone's got to look after you. That time of the month. Witch's ass is gonna have to get wet. Jump! Any news from your secret informer? The port's blocked. Some merchants have been held up for months. What about roads through the forest? Your vet rules the forest. Where are we? In a forest? Very funny. But who does it belong to? Yorveth, maybe? I know more about the Pontar Valley than you think. For instance, I know that Foltest stole this land from Demavend a few years back. I believe you had a hand in that. Hear that? I smell an elf. That's Vernon Roach, Special Forces Commander for the last four years, servant of the Temerian King, responsible for the pacification of the Mahakaman foothills, hunter of elves, murderer of women and children, twice decorated for valor on the field of battle. Yorveth, a regular son of a whore. I've long awaited our meeting. Laid plans, set traps, and now you appear in my forest of your own volition. You aided the man who slew my king. King or beggar, what's the difference? One dwan less. We need him alive. Know any useful spells? Get his attention. I need to focus. I'll try. Climb down and we'll finish this. I await. Ha! <laughs> You're a man without honor, Vernon Roach. An insect I'll not duel, but one that I will crush. Seems like you spout the same old elven drivel. What do you mean, Witcher? I've seen your kind before. Proud and shay, sneaking around forests. Helpless, yet masking that with acts of increasing cruelty. I helped kill Roach's king. You call that helpless? Or would you call me a terrorist? No one will grant us our freedom, Witcher. We must win it for ourselves. You're just another old elf in a young elf's skin, using clever words to mask an obvious truth. Obvious, you say? This is not about race or freedom, or even vengeance. You're here because someone powerful told you to be. Someone who's using you. They may wear a crown, carry a magic wand, or even lead a guild. But be sure of this. It's not about your freedom, your rights, or your ears. Nilfgaard plowed you once, now someone new does. Am I wrong? Those times are gone. No one will ever use the Square Tal again. Who are you addressing? Me? Yourself? Or the archers in those shrubs? Triss, now! Ah! <laughs> That ought to discourage them. Triss, are you alright? Lovely. 
should have charmed the archers. They're coming. Geralt, the spell's still working. Stay close. What's happening? Triss is spent, so no more butterflies. Let's get the fuck out of here. Back to the boat? There's even more of them that way. We must fight our way toward Flotsam. Get your hands off my ass. Who did you think it was? I'm not a oh, flower. I'm a man. I'm a woman. I know it is. At least I'll die holding a lovely ass. Not mine. Don't hurt this guy. Come on, let's go. What's happening? All I see are your boots. Where the hell is that training post? I'm starting to think we'll make it. Wait. The barrier's waning. Tris! Be quick! Give me a bit more magic. Just a little. Carol, kill them now! You know each other? Rather well. But he has amnesia. I actually took the Witcher by surprise when I killed Foltest. Fear not, Elf. I know Geralt. I know his weakness. Too many spells at once. You can die from that. See that? Yeah. The Kingslayer and Yorvith. You all in one piece? Who are you? I'm a witcher. Emirvar Emrys, spice merchant. A trader? In spices. Uh-huh. I'm the woman. My good man, we barely escaped death. Be so kind as to tell us where we might get some rest. We'll explain everything later. Very well. Head for the market square. You might be in time for the execution. Some ne'er-do-wells are going to hang. A dwarf and some bard. There's also an inn and a brothel. Oh yeah, the brothel sounds especially interesting. Take care now. Spice merchant. Not likely. Did you say that? Squirrels are very wolves. Your vet led them. I saw him with You're my own eyes. Welcome here. It's true. I think the stew's ready. Quiet, artists at work. Zoltan. Dandelion. My fool. Just great. What's the plan? We improvise. No killing. We'll take care of this, Triss. Geralt! Geralt! Over here! Help! Dog catcher. Mm. 
dog catcher. Step back, white one. Stand aside. I know those two and I won't let them hang. Piss on who you know. The law says they're to hang. Carry on and you'll join them. What are they going to hang for? They don't look dangerous. The charge is collusion with the Scoyotil. Dandelion and Elven spy? The Bard's hanging for debauchery. What? The sentence was he's to hang for debauchery. And a sentence is nothing to scoff at! Are you serious? Listen here, people. Is profligacy now a punishable offense in the free kingdom of Tamaria? Or are we in Nilfgaard? A piss off, freak! Or you'll have me to deal with. Think of the common folk, you're spoiling their fun. Well, a freak he may be, but he speaks true. Debauchery is one of my favorite pastimes, but I don't want a noose placed around my neck for pursuing it. The soldier boys paid us a visit or two, though we didn't have much fun. Away with you, Margo! Go back to your brothel! I'm to go? Fine. But hear this, people. He sure liked to parade about, but his willy wouldn't come to attention. Ha! Stop the execution. Shut your trap. The thing is to hang, and he will hang. This is a decent town. Whores and witches notwithstanding. Watch your words, guardsman! I don't know witches, but Margot's a decent woman! Shut it, all of you! Or I'll not vouch for what I'll do! Thinks he's tough, showing off his balls. Don't fret, people. I've seen the rot on them. <laughs> I'm warning you for the last time, Margot! You wouldn't hit a lady. You're no lady! Leave the witcher be! Assaulted an officer! Come on up! Ah! We've got room for one more deviant! Look here out! Assaulted an officer! You freak! Ah! Square ah! the others! Ah! Look here out! Assaulted an officer! Ah! Ah! Hell ah! 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 Going on here? I said, what the ass fuck is going on? Uh, uh, I'd like to re re report. <laughs> Out of my sight, Clover. A few plowing bandits, and you can't even hang them. And you, stay calm. Hands off your sword. Our scaffold embraces speeches and hangings. Which will it be? Are you in command here? Forgive me. Bernard Laredo, commander of Port Flotsam. Yes, I rule this brothel. You have no right to hang them. Interesting, because I'm the law in Flotsam. I take issue with that. Vernon Roach, officer of the king. Well, well. Blue stripes. The non-human hunters. Precisely. Anyone suspected of collaborating with the Scoyatel falls under my jurisdiction. And Dandelion? What's he accused of? He burned down a watchtower. What's your jurisdiction say to that? I thought so. Is that true? It might have looked that way, but I swear it wasn't my fault. I'd rather give you a thief. Nags. 
I'm joking. I hate thieves. We can put on another show, bloody and serious this time, mind you, or we can come to an understanding. Meaning? Give me a minute, Richard. Listen here. You may have heard rumours of the tragic events that transpired during the siege of Lavalette Castle. Sadly, they are true. King Foltest is dead. It's likely that Scoyatel had a hand in this heinous murder. So you see, none of you can feel safe. That is why today, wagons with armaments will roll out into Flotsam streets. I hereby declare a state of emergency. Await orders. Prepare to fight. And ready yourselves to avenge your fallen king. Now disperse. Go to your homes. What about them? They'll not hang for now. Let's say I'm reconsidering their cases. The scaffold's no place for civil conversation. We'll talk at my home. Your friends are free for the time being, but they're not to leave town. Come after dusk. <laughs> I'll be busy till then. There's one more thing. Welcome to Flotsam, Witcher. They were really going to hang us. I, I, I don't know. I didn't mean to torch that watchtower. Everything's all right, Dandelion. Let's get out of here. Oh, we owe. We owe you get out. Thank you. Time to hit the tavern. Come on, Dandelion, you need a stiff drink. And while we're at it, I'll tell you an edifying tale of local hypocrisy that conceals lechery beneath a veneer of courtesy. Except nothing can hide the stench. Hmm, Zardis board. I find something interesting here. Not really. In my time, it to serve my country. I want you to be a cheesemaker. A cheesemaker? Oh, thank you, my good boy. A rabble or two. Model downfall and body I tell him, I'm taking your pouch. Or your pouch and your life. What did he say? He said, there's a third option. What? The Commandant wanted to see me. Leave your weapon here. Guard it with care. It's very valuable. Wait, Wolf. I need to talk to the Commandant too. You're going inside or not? Listen, friend. I'm an officer and you're a runt. And when I say jump, you will not only... Come on, Roach. These cunts, Laredo couldn't protect the port from a drunk lumberjack, let alone Yorveth. He's succeeded so far, Road. A ballista. The bastard's got a ballista. You know the power of this weapon. Mm. Its arms strengthened with bronze plates and strung with horsehair. It can propel heavy bolts up to a mile away. Yeah, an experienced crew can release two bolts each minute, but it can't hit the same spot twice because it recoils and shifts. I've heard that somewhere before. Where did you learn about ballista? I knew someone who knew a bit about them. Unimportant. We need to damage it if we don't want to be at Laredo's mercy. They're all drunk here now. I'll provoke the guard. Relax, Roach. I don't want to fight this rabble again. As long as that weapon's operational, no one will sail this section of the Pontar without Laredo's express permission. I'll handle this. Go have a drink. 
Haven't had this good a time in ages. I think these drunkards That's protect true. people from the you know scoyotone. Peasants in uniforms. Drunkards. Yorveth could take them single-handed. Lucky he hasn't realized that. Laredo's busy with that witch Sheila. Come back later. Geralt, let's wait downstairs in the yard. You've had your song. Care for some real diversion. Yes? Do we wait until the Honorable Lady is done with the Venerable Hick? Waste of time. Looks like a good number of Flotsam's town watchmen are here. We should look around. Did you see that arbalist behind the house? I'll get his attention. Give him something to think about. Why don't you find out what they're guarding so closely? My apologies, gentlemen. I could not help overhearing your conversation. What do you want? In point of fact, it's a matter for the Witcher. I have an offer. An offer? Interesting. I suspect you did not come to Flotsam for pleasure alone. You suspect right. Do you know about the monster in the river? Might have heard something. I expect someone will hire you to deal with it sooner or later. Thus, I presume that... Stop presuming, expecting, and concluding. Just tell me what you want. Our honored host is in possession of part of a trap, built especially for the beast in question. Go on. Around back, there's a storage area where Laredo keeps the treasures he confiscates from merchants and travelers. There are heaps of things out there. Let me guess. You know exactly where I need to look. Precisely. I saw Laredo's men carrying the contraption across the garden in a crate. They placed it on a platform by the wall, beyond which lies the craftsman's district. Why are you telling me? Why? We need to be rid of the beast as soon as possible. Good luck! All right. I'll distract the guard. You sneak behind the house. Brilliant as ever. Haven't had this good a time in ages. That's true. You know this one. Soldier! Report to me immediately! Plow all, plow them all. Along came a dwarf and kicked him in the arse. Plow them all, plow them all. Oh, you are fat, dirty, rotten scum. What do you want? Shut it, soldier. Have respect for you.
You forget who you're dealing with, Commandant. You must think me an idiot. I cannot help myself. You take guardsmen off the streets to guard carpets, fabrics and spices pilfered from merchants. Do you have any grasp of the responsibility that rests with you? Don't teach an old man to piss, sorceress. I've ruled Flotsam for years. Flotsam is ruled by a fear of your death. That fear rules even you. I've made my demands perfectly clear. Like a crying babe deprived of its rattle. In time, Commandant, they'll hang you by the neck from a roadside tree like a regular bandit. And rightly so, for you're no better. Your time will come too, sorceress. They'll pile kindling at your feet. Enough. Fear has confused you. Think over what I said and give your answer before it's too late. Didn't like him from the start. Laredo's storing valuable gifts from the merchants right here. He may be expecting Yorvith to attack. I overheard the Commandant talking to Sheila. I couldn't pinpoint the topic of their conversation, but it seems to me he's angling for something. We'll see what he has to say. <laughs> Except a fireside feast with copious amounts of liquor. <laughs> Add flour into the mix and it doesn't get any better. Go in. They await you. Where are we to go? I'd hardly call this a hut. You! I mean you, sir, cannot enter. We've been ordered to let in the Witcher, but no one else. Son of a bitch! Fine. He wants to play hard, we'll play hard. I don't want any trouble. I'll call for support! No need. Tell Lorito I got the message. See you, Roach. No passage. Here to see the Commandant. We have business to discuss. Good luck. He's in a foul mood. Why? We'll talk another time, and definitely elsewhere. Finally! They didn't want to let me in while the sorceress was here. Did you see her? Made up like a whore on parade day. They think they can do anything, those sorceresses. I heard what happened in Temeria. You know your name's on a warrant. It's unfortunate, though nothing that should impede our dealings. See, I'm the law round here, and the law needs to know what the legendary White Wolf's doing in this cesspit. I'm looking for the man responsible for Foltest's death. Here? I know the Scoyatel had a hand in it too. It's their trail I followed to Flotsam. Lucky you found Bernard Laredo then. If you're telling the truth, your vet's got raw blood on his hands. I can help you find him. What about Vernon Roach? Why didn't you let him in? Roach? Know the aura that surrounds him? Men like him act first and think later. And when they act, almost inevitably innocent blood flows. I trust you're on our side. Whose side is that? That are the people of Flotsam, of course. Terrorized by the elven bandits for years now. My enemy's enemy is my friend. We barely escaped with our lives the last time we ran into Yorvith. Damn squirrels draw ever nearer. Your point, Commandant? You're a witcher. Your job is to protect the simpletons from monsters. 
I protect them from the danger that lurks amongst the trees. I see where this is going. Yorvith's no better than a monster that attacks those who go out to gather kindling. Matter of fact, he's worse. He's smarter and crueler. How do we get him? I don't want you to kill him. Even you don't have a hope against his entire force. I have an idea, but I'd rather not go into it now. The squirrels are up to something. Every night their scouts come closer. I suspect they plan to attack the barge moored in the port. What's on the barge? You mean who? Bandits, murderers, rapists. On their way to the dungeons at Drakenborg. As soon as... Their infamous leader joins them. The cherry on the cake and Bernard Lorito's crown trophy. Couldn't have put it better myself. As long as Yorveth remains free, humans, elves, and dwarves will live alongside each other in deep distrust. I've got to learn what the pointy-eared rat is planning. How am I supposed to get that information? <laughs> you underestimate me, Witcher. True, I have my prejudices, but I'm not blinded by them. Take your friend Zoltan, for instance. He contacted Yorveth. How can Zoltan help if he can't go outside the walls? Step by step, Geralt. That's how you build trust. You could start by tending to a problem we have. A beast. The Cairn has blocked all boat traffic. I'm losing tolls. That is, um, the trading post is losing revenue. Kill the Cairn and I'll declare your friends acquitted of their crimes. Then Zoltan can take you to see your death. I'm a witcher. I don't work for free. Of course you don't. Help us capture the Scoyatel commander, and you'll be rewarded generously, straight from the trading post's treasury. I'll see what I can find out. Well, you stir up storms wherever you go. I actually believe you'll bring peace to Flotsam. Don't disappoint this town, Geralt. Farewell. side feast with copious amounts of liquor. That one struts about <laughs> as if he were the mix himself. and it doesn't get any better. Luckily, the commandant provided it all. <laughs> Don't forget your blade. Tell him, I'm taking your pouch. <laughs> what was that? Thanks, boy. Might find something interesting You're here. Dandy. It's a dog's life, Geralt, I'll tell you that much. <laughs> Damn, that was close! Innkeep! Vodka! Triss Merigold! Lice eat me, but you are a treat to behold. Uh, just a little pale. Magic takes its toll, but I'll be alright. Good to see you in your beard again. Can somebody tell me what happened? You set off a month ago for Zoltan's wedding. That got fucked. 
There will be no wedding. Did you hear about Foltest? Rumors travel faster than the wind. Winds and rumors. I want to know the truth. I want to know how Foltest died. And the dragon, was there really one there? And who rules Temeria now? Dandelion, calm down. You'll choke on your liquor. The dragon, well, the dragon appeared and that's all I know. But where did the Lavalettes get a dragon? We heard it fought on their side, huge as a barn, they say. Dragons don't usually take sides. Maybe its lair was nearby and it just felt threatened. If you hadn't driven it off, Foltis might not have taken the castle. Maybe. We'll never know for sure. Triss, you're the expert on Temeria. Tell us who's in charge now. It's chaotic and getting worse. The old families are fighting for supremacy, no holds barred. Baron Kimbolt and Count Merivel, I bet. Among others. After the assassination, while Geralt was in the dungeon, the Lords convened in a field near Lavalette Castle to choose a new ruler. Three days they debated, and it looked more like a bazaar than a meeting of nobles. Except the trade was in court and ministry positions, spheres of influence, royal privileges. Ha! <laughs> Humans! In spite of several duels and two poisonings, no king was chosen. Civil war was in the air. I think I've heard enough about politics. No wedding, Zoltan? Ha! <laughs> the Bregan Riggs broke off the engagement because some limp prick put it about that I joined the uprising in Vizima. My would-be popper law refused to let a rebel firebrand join the family. And keep, where's our drink? It was like this. We got to Mahakam a week after the Grand Master died. Bought Zoltan an absolutely grand doublet, a pair of Garibaldi crack owls, and as a gift for Eudora, a jade stone as big as my fist. We were broke as a joke by the time Dandelion threw me a bachelor party at an establishment called the Tight Lane. Next day, we went over to the Breckenrigs. They welcomed us in, sat us down, and proceeded to discuss the superiority of Mahakaman mining know-how over any other. And that went on until dinner. Just when I thought I'd learned more than I ever wanted to know about mining, they served the soup. You could have held a pin drop. Old Breckenrig rose and he says, A real dwarf works a mine, not chases fame on the battlefield. You'll never believe this, Geralt, but they served duck blood soup. It was as black as tar. They must have dropped lumps of coal into the pot. Eat, Breckenrick says, then proceeded to slop two full bowls of the shite. Old goat. Hope his mind caves in on his head. Foltest killer lay in wait in the tower, where the Lavalettes had hidden the royal bastards. He was well informed. Wait a minute. What were you doing there? I was protecting the king. After the first attempt, Foltest began treating me as his lucky charm. He ordered me to be at his side during the battle. The dragon separated us from the rest of the army. The killer disguised himself as a monk, a blind one at that. He let Foltest greet his children, waited until I had walked off, then cut the king's throat from ear to ear. How did he flee? Jumped out a window into the river below. Yorvid Skoyatel were waiting in a boat. It was planned. And you're chasing him because he murdered the king? I was accused of the murder. I need to clear my name. Besides, I looked him in the eye before he escaped. He's a witcher. Then some brave Temerian soldiers showed up, piled on me, and knocked me out. Save yourselves, good folk! The beast attacks! We better get out there. Someone's casting spells. What sort of sorceress are you? A lot of good you did. Can't you hear me? Why didn't you help him? He's alive, isn't he? The beast nearly pulled him in the water while you stood staring like a calf at a shit-covered clover. Watch your words. Where's this beast? Ask her. Geralt. Ah, I guess we knew each other. Oh, look here. Birds of a feather. Let's say. I've heard of you. Master Witcher, this is foolish. 
The beast near pulled Sozek into the depths, and you're simply chatting with this damsel. Sozek's alive, and nowhere near the depths. The monster's vanished without a trace. You best take us seriously, lest you vanish without a trace. I'm tired of your whining. Get out of here. Ah, oh, as ever. It's the common folk that get ploughed. Come on, lads! I apologize for interrupting, but I am Louis Merce, and I am chief person in charge of all matters related to monster hunting in Flotsam. It is in this capacity that I must inquire if you're willing to attempt to resolve the problem of our so-called Cairo, the beast that now blocks all trade traffic on the river. So, Witcher, are we willing? I usually work alone. I was here first, and I'll not relinquish this contract. My way or the highway, as the locals put it. Fine. Your way it is. You must contact the merchants on the waterfront as regards any rewards. Madame de Tanserville has, I believe, already conducted some preliminary negotiations. That I have. In that case, don't let me keep you. Triss, how long must I wait for you to introduce us? Sheila de Tanserville, advisor to Queen Zulika of Kovir. Kovir is a long way north. True. I had my doubts if the Kairan was worth the journey, but those were dispelled with what it showed today. Here to hunt down some ingredients? Triss Merigold, sharp as ever. You're thinking that? Troll eyes, ghoul venom, virgin's blood, all those disgusting marvels we take from dying species to throw into the cauldron at Sabbaths. Right, Triss? Absolutely. Virgins are a dying breed. Oh my. Your sense of humor seems to be intact, too. But enough of these pleasantries. Tell me, Geralt. You saw the tentacle. What do you make of it all? The beast must be huge. Maybe inhabited one of the Pontar's tributaries before, hunting animals. Then it grew for some reason, and hunger drove it to seek fresh pastures. And on the Pontar it found trade barges burgeoning with obese, slow-moving merchants. You're partly correct. Cedric claims the Kairan emerged from the northern swamps approximately one month past. Cedric? An elf. Formerly a Scoia'tael. Strange bird. But he knows quite a bit about the area and its living wonders. I need to look around, find out a few things. Hmm. An investigation. Witcher's rituals, extracting secrets and such. More or less. I'll talk to the merchants about the reward, pay Cedric a visit and get back to you. You'll find me at the inn. I've rented lodgings there, on the upper floor. You know the inn's also a whorehouse. Thanks for the warning. I was thinking about what, new boy? That prick Laredo turned his nose up, eh? Ha! You'd think he was faultist himself, parading among his lessers. What do you want? Heard you have a problem. Ah, if only we had just one. Highways washed out, forests full of bandits, a river beast blocks the port, and tolls are to rise. Can't help with the tolls, but the monster's a possibility. A sorceress said the same, but we've yet to see any results. She's asked me to work with her. And who's to pay your wage? That's what I'm here to discuss. The sorceress was to manage a loan. You can split that reward if you wish. Well, we're managing it together now, so as I see it, you should double the reward. <laughs> you jest! You'll double what you offered Lady de Tanzerville because that's what the contract's worth. So be it. I assume you to be professionals and worth every last copper paid to you. It's a deal. Now tell me what you know about the beast. You're the Witcher, damn it! I've no knowledge of these things. Who could tell me more? That plowing elf, Cedric, most probably. He's supposed to know all about monsters. Where can I find him? 
in the village outside the walls. Now leave me be. Glad we made the deal. True enough. Sometimes you just gotta grit your teeth and bite back later. Where might you be going? Uh, what kind of question is that? Anyway, know where I can find an elf named Cedric? Don't get involved in this. Hmm, you did turn pale when we met Sheila. You must have imagined that. I know you too well. Sheila's one of the most powerful sorceresses. That's no reason to fear her. She can't be trusted, in my experience. I know her to be devious and manipulative. Any proof? She's well aware you lost her memory, yet pretended she didn't know. And why would she do that? I don't know. Her true intentions have always been hard to fathom. I'll see if I can't learn what they are. How? I'll go hunting with her, right after I find Cedric. Well then let's go see him. He should be at the top of his observation tower. Moril would delight in a day like this, Sir Heron. Enjoy the memory of her. Don't wallow in the longing. I try. I do. But I cannot believe all the bad blood this disappearance has bred. Don't let other Shay poison your memory of her. Hatred is but an outlet for helplessness. Thank you, Cedric. Vafail. Vafail. Are you Cedric? Who asks? Geralt of Rivia. Ah, the Witcher. And? Triss Marigold. Lovely scent, Triss. Cedric, look at me. What do you want, Geralt of Rivia? I aim to kill the Cairn. Heard you might be able to help. That depends on the sort of aid you seek. I need information. We should have killed it years ago. No. Now I don't know. The beast has become too large for the riverbed, and it has strange growths on its tentacles, extremely thick skin. Previously, it inhabited a swamp along one of the Pontar's tributaries. Completely wild terrain. Even the Scoia'tael don't venture there. You should go see the wreck of the boat it recently sank. Inspect any traces it's left. See the destruction. Where's this wreck? Venture south into the forest, then turn east toward the river. You'll find the ruins of a bridge erected long ago by the Enshe. The wreck lies at their foot. Thanks, Cedric. You'll find me by the boat wreck. Sheesh, Triss. Sure you're not overusing those teleports? When will you tackle the old man? <laughs>
straight no one else tell me. I don't know what you're talking about. <laughs> I'll be damned. I wonder what's left of that wreck Cedric mentioned. If the Karen attacked the boat, it's not likely to be much. We're looking for traces of the beast, not boats. See those footprints? Yeah. Strange place for an evening walk. Unless you're looking for adventure. Hmm. Medallion's telling me something. Wait a minute. What are you going to do? Cast a simple diagnostic spell. 
It should answer a few questions. This monster's sick, Garrett. It's dying. How much time does it have left? A few years? Perhaps a decade and change? Too long. What's wrong with it? Any information could be useful. The diagnostic spell showed that some of the cells in its body have mutated. What else? The Karen's highly venomous. Any ideas for an antidote? Your witcher's metabolism should neutralize small doses of the toxin. But if I were you, I wouldn't rely on my mutations alone. An Ostmark potion should do the trick. I know the herb, but haven't the faintest where I might find it around here. I need to think, figure out how I want to fight the Karen. Maybe I won't need the potion. Do what you will, but don't say I didn't warn you. Sheila might be eager to get this done, but before you go see her, ask some of the locals about Osmark. You could try Cedric. Here's the formula for the potion. I need to take care of some things. Manage without me for a while? Mm -hmm. See you. Cedric, I need some Ostmark. It's a rare variety of moss, grows underground. I know it. There are some caves to the south, deep in the woods. If Ostmark grows anywhere in the area, it will be there. Take care of yourself.
Behave yourself, bitch. Boss, look who's graced our smithy. That titan of the art of smithing can't hear us. Busy, works a blur in his hands. And how are you, Witcher? Things working out for you? Nice workshop. Bah, it's no workshop, just a simple forge. But thanks for the compliment, both in my name and the master's. So how can we help you, eh? So, how can we help you, eh? So, how can we help you, eh? So how can we help you, eh? Witcher, I've been awaiting you. We need to kill a monster that sinks boats. Afraid? No, but I suspect we'll need to draw it onto the shore. Leave that to me. I can't wait. I bet it's something spectacular. Believe it. You'll do the honors. The honors? Once on the riverbank. You'll kill him, her, whatever it is. I've got everything I need. Let's go. Excellent. Ready? Are you wearing makeup? We all have our rituals. From what I know, Kairons are colorblind. Enough, Geralt. Time to draw the beast out of the water. Got an ace up your sleeve? I always do. Don't get eaten, and we'll soon both be heroes. I hope you're right. You descend into the lair. I'll stay on the bridge and pull it out onto the bank. Take care. It'll be extremely dangerous, even on land.
We did it. Not a bad fight, wouldn't you say, Geralt? Are you alright? The beast got me a couple of times. I've heard you've been in more dire situations. I wonder, are the stories about you true? What stories? If you think I'm going to repeat some of the legends circulating about you, you're deeply mistaken. What now? I must harvest the most valuable ingredients while the corpse is fresh. I'd prefer to get the entire carcass to my laboratory and strip it down to the bone, but that would be a waste of power and simply too much work. I shall take only... What have you heard about me? A number of things. You won't talk about them? I've no time now. The fresher the ingredients I collect, the higher the price I'll get. Sorry. Farewell then. Don't forget to collect the reward. Oh, I won't.
is troubling me. Let's see. What is a bloody I think the stew's ready. Watch it, wild woman. Job done. The Kieran's dead. Good work. You've earned your reward. You might want to stir it. I don't stir. I work the material. Well, well. How's the Commandant as a host? It's people like him who might help us. Or put us in shackles and throw us into the river. He told me they're keeping Scoia'tael prisoners on a barge in the port. Did he mention if Kieran at Besnalen, Yorvet's right-hand elf, is among them? No. He may know something about the Kingslayer. Let's pay him a visit. Boss, oh, so what about that bonus? Is the work What do you want? To speak with the wounded prisoner. No one's allowed. I'm here on Commandant Lorido's orders. I already cut a deal with you, but... So get out of my way. He won't tell you much. He's dying. Shut your traps. Stop bloody moaning down there. Look, Coffer's dozed off. Wakey, wakey, Coffer. You'll fall asleep forever any day now. They beat him bad. He's got at least a dozen fractures. I'll need your help. What do I do? The spell I'm going to use is painful. It could kill him if he thrashes around. I'll use the Axie sign to calm him. Perfect. Look, birdie's all wet. Hey, bird! It's no use. You wish, Horson. I'm no traitor. He's raving. That gun? Where am I? In Flotsam. On the prison barge. The convict's barge? I'm done for. We need your help. We need to speak with Yorveth. Like hell, Dwan. I'll tell you nothing. There's a Witcher in Yorveth's unit. Like every Dwan. He turned out to be a bastard. What happened? He betrayed us. He said he had an offer for me. So we met, where roses of remembrance grow. I should have known. Roses of remembrance? Yes. Some of the last in the world. He thought that I'd betray my elven brother in order to control the unit. I refused. When there was a fight, I've never seen anything like it. No human can move that fast. It was a massacre. I was the first to be hit, thus I survived. I would have bled to death had Laredo's men not found me. Letho will kill Yorveth, and all will be lost. So many dead, so much suffering, all for naught. Letho, he's the Kingslayer? Yes. We got what we came for. What now? Yorveth. What if Yorveth already knows? I've got an old saying all ready for him. My enemy's enemy is my friend. Warn him, Gwynplaid. Yorveth fights, for that is what he does best. He's Enshe, a real one, a free one. Among the last, fighting makes sense. Now more than ever before, there is still hope. What are you talking about, Kieran? Hope for what? For change. For a better tomorrow. I'll not see it. They'll torment me to death on this barge, and I'll go gladly where the apple trees bloom. 
But you must warn Yorveth. Yennefer told me that Ciri has departed for good. She inhabits another world and is happy there. Before she left this one, she gave us the Isle of Avaloch, our island. We stopped counting time. People believe that the wraiths of the wild hunt are immortal. They race across the heavens, gripping in their bony hands swords, their lightning bolts. They take away mortals, never expanding their cavalcade of spectral riders. They burned the orchard and the house. In their armored boots, they trampled our island. Geralt, are you all right? I've been to the Isle of Avalach, among the apple trees and the mists. After the massacre in Rivia, Suri took me there, and Yennefer. The Wraith Riders kidnapped Yen, and I pursued them. But... Triss, this is important. I feel like everything's coming together. When the Witchers found me barely alive a half year ago near Kaer Morin, I was fleeing the Wraiths of the Hunt. They continued to pursue me, in the outskirts, then in Vizima when I killed the Grand Master. Now I know it was no coincidence. Kieran mentioned roses of remembrance growing somewhere near here. Cedric claims likewise. If that's true... Right now I should be searching the forest for Yorveth, not looking for flowers. I could restore your memory. You sure? Everything seems to indicate that. Whatever's blocking your memory is clearly weakening. I think I could break that barrier with just one petal from a rose of remembrance. Those flowers are truly powerful. In that case, Yorveth can wait. Want me to go with you? I'd love your company. All right then. Let's go. Cedric mentioned there are some old elven buildings near the Cascade in the forest. We should start there. Lead the way. Shut your traps! Stop bloody moaning down there! Look, Coffer's dozed off. Wakey wakey, Coffer! You'll fall asleep forever any day now. Look, bird is all wet. Hey, bird! What's in these crates, boss? King Vridank's treasures. And in that house? I think the stew's ready. Quiet, woman. Artist at work. You might want to stir it. I don't.
I think we've arrived. The Cascade, the Menhir. We need to take the path leading upwards. Gardens in the middle of forests? Those elves really like to complicate things. Stop whining. It's not far now. Cedric told me a beautiful legend about this place. Legends are almost always beautiful, especially elven ones. The reality often leaves a lot to be desired. Well, Cedric also said the site itself was something wonderful. The rose must be here somewhere. I'll look around. Alden and Symeril. Cedric said Symeril eclipsed even Francesca Findebear with her beauty, and Francesca's reputed to be the world's most beautiful woman. Cedric drinks too much. He really has visions, you know. He really has the gift. He could learn to control it if he drank less. Cedric drinks to get rid of the visions. Triss. Symeril's Rose of Remembrance. Legend has it they wilt unless nourished with blood, and also if they're sold. But give it to someone you love, and it'll live forever. This one's for you. Oh, Geralt. I want you to keep it. If there's any truth to the legend, it shouldn't wilt. Even if you pluck a petal or two. Thank you. This is the statue, Curly. Don't mind us. Imagine the corn we'll get. I won't leave the brothel for a month. Six weeks even. Where does that woman get the gold for all this? I mean, her and the old man, they're buying a new house. And now these statues for the garden. Must be defrauding the treasury. What's a town chancellor do anyway? They'd be ploughing hard to move. We'd never shift it in one piece. I know. We'll break off the legs. The heads, remove it in bits. Break off your own head, clown. Shut your trap, cunt. And Kill them! Hit the street! Tamaria for Tamaria! Watch out! what the end shape built before human ships ever appeared in the Pontar Delta. Elves possess a sensitivity humans can't ever hope to acquire. We're trapped. Looks like we're stuck. Mm -hmm. well, there must be another way out of here. Mm -hmm. Why are you looking at me that way? Do I have something on my face? Uh -uh. What's going on in that head of yours, Witcher? Oh, you know. Stuff. You could use a bath. So could you.
witcher's blade. Letho comes here to think. Well, he's not here now, so we've no reason to stay. The Dwan stole the story of Elden and Cymru, but they now steal our roses of remembrance. A more silly and shallow tale I've never heard. An enchanted wood, a beautiful elven couple living within. A handsome human prince arrives, riding a milk-white stallion. Uh. Bloody Dwan. We Enche remember how it was. Uh. Limitless devotion, passion, commitment, uh. and sacrifice. Legend has it the lover's sighs are enchanted in these very stones, though only those in love can hear them. <coughs> Singing bushes, jabbering stones, elven hogwash. to take walks more often. For a while there I forgot all about Flotsam, the Scoia'tael, the Kingslayer, the whole world, really. Nice to know I still have that power. I need time to devise the spell. It could take as much as a few days. Mm -hmm. What do you plan to do while you wait? I'm going to meet Yorvith. Well, don't get yourself killed. That'd be pretty stupid now. What are you getting at? You're about to recover your memory, which will give you a whole new perspective on things. We'll learn what happened to Yennefer. Uh-huh. And you expect me to drop everything and tell Roach, hey, it's been great, but I've got places to go and people to find? You know, you could. I, I mean, you don't really owe him anything. I'm just afraid you'll get caught up in something and you won't be able to back out. You're just a sly old elf. He's been fighting humans for a full century at least. This Letho is no common bandit either, and I shudder to think who put him on the warpath. It's a mire, Geralt. Deep and hungry, and it could swallow you whole before you know it. It possibly already has. I want you to know that I'm prepared to travel to the end of the world with you to save Yennefer. I owe you that. I owe her that. I'm prepared to drop everything. The trappings of court life, politics, the regicides. I could even live at Kaer Morhen. It's up to you. Triss. Let me finish. I can only say this once. If you want to go alone, I'll understand. And I won't try to persuade you otherwise. I can't know what the future holds. I don't know what else is hidden in my mind. But whatever it is, whatever happens, I don't want to lose you. I'd have to be an utter fool and complete ingrate to let you go. That's... kind. Thank you. Does that mean we're leaving the regicides to Roach and tending to our own matters? I really would like to go, but I need to clear my name. Foltest's men and bounty hunters of all kinds would never let it go. We'd be fugitives, and that's not a life I'd want for me or for you. Besides, I'd feel as if I'd given up when there was still something to do. I'd feel like I fled, and as I see it, we haven't lost yet. Whatever your decision, I want you to know you can count on me. I need a few days to prepare the spells. I need to talk to Zoltan about Yorvith. It's not a closed conversation. We'll talk again, but only after I've settled things with the Kingslayer. Go! Go! There you are. Is everything all right? This is nice. What a beautiful place. Very. How do you find us? Finding those I seek is a speciality of mine. Now, let's get out of here. The Scoia'tael are out in droves. What's going on, Geralt? 
Narita wants the Scoia'tael gone for good. He didn't say anything specific, but in his mind's eye, he saw them on the prison barge already. Yorvat's outsmarted bigger fish than the Commandant. Lorito's got something going with Sheila, so I'd take him seriously if I were you. You never know. Maybe the sorceress hunts more than monsters. You'll get a chance to show your mettle. If we're to capture Foltest's murderer, we'll have to clash with the Scoia'tael. I sent the boys out into the woods. Tough going, too dense. My scouts got ambushed and barely escaped. It's no picnic hunting elves in the forest. Tell me something I don't know. My people saw the Kingslayer again. He knows we're here, but he's not even trying to escape. Seems he's waiting for something. I think it's our move. So long, Roach. Welcome. Good to see you, Zoltan. What are you doing so far from home? It's a dog's life, Geralt, I'll tell you that much. You work your fingers to the bone for six years, you listen to the tirades of that old tyrant Breckenrig, you buy jewels, then she breaks off the engagement. And there I was, learning a gavot. Fuck it. Out of sight, out of mind. Farewell to your daughter, the forge in Novigrad, and all the world's bracket rings. I'm a plain merchant, and I've made my peace with that. How are those biceps holding up, Sultan? Hard as a bull's bollocks. Arm wrestling's a dwarven pastime. We ought to try it sometime. <laughs> I'll arm wrestle you any time. Now, even. Show me those bull's bollocks, then.
Easier to hack monsters than wrestle down the arm of a feisty dwarf, huh? You look strong. Care for a little contest? Too strong for me. Here's what you're owed. You ought to give Wiry Wilkes a shot. You'll not have an easy time with me. Strongman you are! Here's your coin! You should take on Big Max! You're a strong lad, but I'm no wimp either. Wanna take me on? Big Max is no wuss. You need to toughen up. You're a strong lad, but I'm... By Veo Patis's balls, you're strong. You're winnings. There's someone else. No one's beaten him yet. Who? Bartholomew Bargy. You'll find him in the village. My son, you should get home early today. Eat something. Get. What do you want? I heard you're the local arm wrestling champ. You bet I am. I'd like to change that. Many tried and walked away with shit in their britches. You want to go? You bet I do. All right, come with me. Let's do it now. I'll be tied up later. All right. Have you heard? Another king was murdered. Shame it was only one. Stop talking nonsense, son! The tyranny of despots must be ended! Stop saying that, my son! Who would reign over the world? Ready? Let's do it.
No one beats me. Ready? Let's do it. Strong as an ox. Here are your orins. Once we had a company of Adam Pangrat's mercenaries here. I'm the strongest here, so I took on a dew. But that lad's got superhuman strength. He beat me like a child. If you ever see him, tell him Bard Bargy drinks to his health. All right. Oh, my son. You should get home early today. Eat something. Get some sleep. Stop annoying me. Does he tend to lose them? Get your back! Dead to the spell! Mother! Like father, like son. Fools of both of yous. You'll be uh, trying that one else, ruin. What's going on here? This whore's a Scoyatel spy! Any evidence? What's it to you? Easy! She loiters around the garrison, kick-kitting us. Roderick says he bound her, but I don't believe that. I did! That's your evidence? Two of our lads are missing. Last seen with her. I only spoke to them. Then they went off towards the caves. That's all I know. The bitch is lying. She led them into an ambush. This ought to be easy enough to resolve. Look inside the caves. But they're crawling with all sorts of filth. I'll do it, but you'll pay me. Wait for me at the harbor. Wow. Have you heard? Another king was murdered. How great does he need two swords? Does he tend to lose them? You're not welcome here. Strikes, boss. King Vridank's treasures. We'll wait out here. Make it quick. A lot of blood, and I'm about to find out who it belonged to.
something at the end of this trail. Goyatel arrows. This is pretty clear. Find anything in there? Two soldiers. What happened to them? They're dead, riddled with arrows. I know nothing about that. What do you think, Witcher? Seems like two soldiers wandered into the cave, maybe to drive away monsters. But just because somebody convinced them to go. I don't know how many monsters they managed to kill, but I do know who got them. Skoyatel. Bollocks! Last I recall, Neckers don't know how to use bows. Hey lads! Let's find a tree! No! I'll tell you everything! Just don't kill me, please! Speak. You need to see this. You won't understand otherwise. See plowing what? The bitch is lying! Give it up, Elf. Let's take it to the Commandant! Lorita will torture me! I hope my screams wake you every night, Vatgun. Shut it! Thanks, Witcher. You've earned your reward.
I tell him. Oh, a man of the same calling. That prick Laredo turned his nose up, eh? Ha! You'd think he was faultiest himself, parading among his lessers. Glad we made the deal. True enough. Sometimes you just gotta grip. I tell him. I'll arm wrestle you any time. No, even. <laughs> Your hands like a vice. It wasn't easy. If you ever run into my old mates Yarpin or Sheldon, promise me you'll take them on. They'll be surprised. Zoltan, I need to ask you a favor. Shoot. I heard you know the local Squaretel. You heard? Meaning some goat's ass and a helmet hollowed it out in the market square. I need some way to get to this Yorveth. You know, I don't want you thinking I'm all chummy with the Squaretel. And Yorveth detests me. Why would you want to see him anyway? He knows where the Kingslayer is. Yorveth? And here I always thought I'm a common thug. All right. No reason to sit on our asses. Come on. You can tell me everything on the way. Lead on, Zoltan. Tell me, who said I have contacts with the Scoyatel? Lurino. What a prick. That's why he wanted to hang you? For making deals with the squirrels? What? I met a few, yes, but made no fucking deals. What about their leader? They say Yorveth's mad, but the Scoyatel are at his beck and call. Sword knows what he wants. In order. I hope he'll tell me what it is. Tell you what, of two evils, Lorido's the beggar prick. Because he almost hanged you? Because he stirs up the locals against non-humans. And there's what he's colluding with Kedwin. What's his angle? Greed! King Hensel would gladly annex more land and grant Lorido privileges. Come on, we've got a long way to go.
It's a dog's life, Geralt, I'll tell you. We need to go deeper into the forest. I hope they didn't change the password. You know their password? What are you playing at, Sultan? All right. The Scoyatel asked me to command a unit. No wonder Lurita wanted you hanged. <laughs> they may have asked. This is it. I was due to meet them here. I know. They're aiming arrows at us. What? Geralt, I know full well you're always vigilant, but quit poking fun at me. Give them the password. What them? Hurry up, they're edgy. Kier Kigald! Stop bawling. What do you want? Countersign. Heidegger. I asked you a question. Take us to Jorveth. Why? If we wanted to speak with you, we wouldn't ask for your leader. Jorveth won't talk with you. You don't know that. Leave while you're still able. The two of you won't scare us off. There are four more in that tree. How do you know? I can hear them breathing. One's sick, or on fist tech. How? He's wheezing. What? You elven cocks gone soft? We just want to talk to Jorvith. Wait at the clearing. The dwarf knows where. We'll let Jorvith know. Make sure you do. Come on, Geralt. I know what those elven pricks have planned. Been there once. We're here. That creature prowls down there. Right where we're supposed to meet Jorvith. Exactly. Any ideas? I last fought an Ericus some time ago. I never had the swiving pleasure. Not that I mind. Wait here. What are you... Think me a limp prick? This is the place the elves mentioned. That thing approaching us is no elf. I'll leave it to you, get out. Monsters are not my speciality. Take that.
A lovely show, Gwynblade. But tell me, was it worth it? An uneven fight and certain death await you anyway. I could ask you the same thing. What do you want, that gun? Speak quickly before I kill you both. Letho betrayed you. He wanted to make a deal with your comrade, Kirin. Kirin Ep Esnilin is dead. Two weeks ago, his warriors were ambushed and killed. You should invent better lies, Gwynblade. He's on the barge, wounded but alive. He turned Letho down, and his unit paid the ultimate price. If you speak the truth, Letho will die. But words alone are not enough. You still trust this assassin? You may be lying. If I'm lying, so did Kieran. We'll investigate it for his sake. We shall see how Letho reacts to your sensational news. Where is he? The ruins of Kelmawed. For some reason, he likes the place. My unit will cover us. Ready? So the hired assassin turned out to be a traitor. It's his word against yours. For now, why do you trust him? Because he's a Dwan who agreed to do shady work for you? He did what had to be done. He proved nobody's untouchable. What's your angle, Yorvith? You wouldn't understand. Hiding in woods, killing berry pickers, eating roots. We live by our own rules, doing what's necessary to attain our goal. What is your goal? What's it to you, Geralt? Esset Vatgen? You tell me to stuff it up my ass. Not everything deserves that fate. My life now depends on your whim, so I'm curious. Then listen well. The two dead kings were whoresons who damned their own children to stay in power. But in the East, there's someone truly deserving of a crown. Why did you want Foltest dead? He might have appeared charming, but in reality he allowed the elder races in Temeria to be oppressed. He was like old Dwan, but his death has more significance. We need to go. We need a ruse. Tell Letho you've captured me and want to hand me over to him. And you? I'll be unarmed, hands bound. If you're not lying, his reaction will confirm it. I don't trust you, of course. My warriors will cover us if you try anything stupid. I get it. I don't think so. Do anything stupid and they'll tie you down on an anthill, face coated with honey. You'll scream so loud even the storm riders will hear you. Are you always so grandiose? We could just tell Letho to own up. I'd fail men here yet, then better. Conquer with courage rather than strength. Exactly. Let's go. Make sure you don't betray our ruse. Geralt of Rivia, what's the meaning of this? I'm here to negotiate. Ah, Yorveth, the woodland fox caught at last. I underestimated you. I wondered what a human was doing among the Scoia'tael. My enemy's enemy is my friend. Know the same? The Scoia'tael are my brothers in vengeance. Joke's over! Unbind me! Tell me who you're working for, and the elf is yours. We work for ourselves. We? The Kingslayers. Demavend? Foltest? Who else? Who the hell are you? We've met Gerald. Do you remember? No. I'll never forget it. You saved my life. White Wolf. 
We fought side by side. Now we'll cross blades. This wouldn't be necessary if I'd killed Yorveth first. Surret and orcs will drown in their own blood. Oh, I don't think so. My men will finish their task long before the Scoia'tael in the Ponter Valley realize you're dead. Serret and orcs, who are they? Kingslayers the Scoia'tael are assisting in the Pontar Valley, in Upper Edern. I don't see any other way to do this. Draw your sword. Enough of this farce! Fedrai Enrei! What game are you playing? One that you just lost. Give me my sword. I have to kill you. Try it, but I'm no king. Such a pity we're on opposite sides. You still know how to fight. Why do you hound me? They think I killed Foltest. It's your own fault for playing soldier boy. Why would a witch kill kings? I'm a witcher no more. That was long ago. So you're a hired thug now. Congratulations. and a few elves are enough to kill a king? You've no idea how many people were eager to help us. You really think they will all keep quiet? Your best time is running out. The others will be judged and condemned for sowing chaos. So, why? You were one of us, Geralt. You saved us. Now we're even. Your witch is good with magic. Think she'll be able to teleport me to Edirn. If she behaves, I won't harm her. I'll find you. See you in Edirn, then. What happened? Where is he? Where's the Kingslayer? Fled. Yorveth? Captured. My men have taken him to Flotsam. The Kingslayer may attempt to spring him from prison. I doubt it. He needs Triss. Really? Why? I've set the elves against him so he can't move through the forests. I have to find Triss first. Follow me then. We've got your Veth. That changes everything.
That was a damn good fight. Change it. Truly triumphant entry. Long live Witcher Geralt! Long live Vernon Roach! Here's to you, noble lords! Long live Tamaria! It seems we've given the Commandant occasion to throw a feast. Open barrels of the best wine! I want to see whole hogs on spits! I hereby declare a holiday! Celebrate, my lords. Today's my treat. No innkeeper or wench will take a penny from you. Here's to our heroes. Have a drink, Witcher. Another time. Well, that's uncalled for, but hard luck. See you, Vernon. Right. And don't worry about our prisoner. We'll take good care of him. I need to find Triss. Maybe Dandelion. Then Geralt whipped out a silver chain and throttled the beast. Her eyes popped and she spasmed terribly as she drew her last breath. And here he is. Honorable ladies, noble lords, allow me to introduce Geralt of Rivia. I was so worried about you. Dandelion, we need to talk. Geralt, you're Flotsam's hero. Have a drink. Lorito's buying. Later, Dandelion. I'm busy right now. Won't wet your whistle with me, old friend? I need to find Triss. Triss? Oh, yeah, Triss. Totally forgot. She went to meet Sheila at her rented quarters to see this thingamy megascope or something. Anyway, here's to the beautiful ladies. The ladies will have to wait. I need you. Come on. I was lucky enough to get the key to Sheila's nest. Incidentally, for a big woman, the innkeeper's wife is surprisingly nimble. Come on.
Not good. Don't just stand there. We need to look for clues. Sheila's bodyguard. His neck's broken. No wounds. So that's not his blood. Triss enters, breaks the guard's neck, then wounds herself? That's stupid. What a mess. Somebody had a good time in here. Trashed everything. I don't get it. Someone else had to be here. Dandelion, look. What is it? A peephole. Someone might have been spying. The brothel's behind that wall. Maybe the madam saw what happened. Let's go. Welcome, Dandelion. You're in luck, freebies today, but you still have to pay for a tag team. Darai, this is Witcher Geralt. We just want to talk. Tell us who used this room most recently. Margot and me. Margot? The madam. What is it you want? Triss Marigold. Red-headed sorceress. She was in the next room. Do you know what happened to her? We, we weren't spying. I know nothing. There's no need to be scared. Just tell us what you saw. I know you looked through the peephole. Margot was nervous about the holiday. She told the girls to give freebies today. Then she took me to my room and we made love. Just as I was... I was, well... Well, we heard voices and Margot started spying. It was the sorceress and Cedric. Are you sure? Yes. We started fighting for the people. But finally Margot let me take a peek. Tris said she was going to see who the Ice Queen had spoken to recently. She approached the mirror and whispered something. There was a flash, and a terrible-looking man popped out of the mirror. What did he look like? Like a worm. A hungry old worm. Huh. I wonder... Triss was aghast, and the worm said, Why so pale, Marigold? Have you seen a ghost? Then he smiled maliciously, and... Why so pale, Marigold? Seen a ghost. What is it now? Greetings, Death Mole. I wondered who Sheila had been talking to recently. Spying on each other, eh? That's new. What's your business? I'm pursuing the Kingslayer. Maybe you've heard something. Oh, that gives me the chills. Whoever he is, he's done for. You'll change your mind when the Kingslayer nails your ruler. Marigold, think as befits a mage, because right now you bring shame to all sorcerers. Foltest is dead. It's your fault, and as rumor has it, your Witcher lovers too. You don't believe that. What I believe matters little. The rumors do. You and your Witcher are finished in Temeria. Unless you catch the culprit. What's Henselt up to? Are you out of your mind, Marigold? Be glad I'm even talking to you. I need to know what's going on. Help me, Deathmold, and I'll return the favor. You know nothing useful to me, and I don't want your graces. You don't tickle my fancy. We'll meet one day when you won't have a king to hide behind. I wait eagerly, Marigold, and I can assure you I won't be hiding. You've heard that Philippa has left Redania? Yes. Do you know where she is? I do. But first, you'll answer my question. Fine. A single question in exchange for information on Philippa. What are Hansel's political plans? <laughs> You're insolent, Marigold. But I gave you my word. Hansel wants to wrestle the Pontar Valley from Edda, and to force that weed Stennis to swear fealty. Prince Stennis Demavan's heir. The same. Eden, bereft of the Pontar Valley, will become a principality dependent on Kedwin. Your turn. Philippa's in Vergen, a small town near the kedweni adernian border. I know its location very well. The remnants of Eden's army have assembled there, led by a lass said to have killed a dragon. Who's the girl? She commands a rabble of peasants, poor noblemen and non-humans. 
Even Prince Stennis Demoven's son can't disregard her. But that's of no consequence. Hensolt will trample those vermin and chase them off with whips. What's Philippa doing there? Telling you won't pay off Death Mold. You know too little. Farewell. That's all. I didn't hear or see anything else. What happened to Triss and Cedric? I've no idea. Margot pushed me away to get a peek herself, but I heard a smash, shouting, and a fight. Margot covered the people with a picture she was pale and told me to keep my mouth shut. We sat for a while and left only when all was quiet. Margot went to her room and I haven't seen her since. But I noticed Cedric staggering away down the alley that leads towards the forest. Dandelion, wait here. I'm going to find Cedric. What about Marga? Right. We should look for her first. Cedric's blood. I just need to follow it. and Strigger style. <laughs> no, tell me. He downs the flat, tries to get it on, falls fast to sleep, and she wakes up a virgin in the morning. <laughs> Damn, we're too late. Why did she? Doubt we'll ever know. I'm getting Cedric. And stood by her child. Did I? You'll pay for our blood, Witcher! Get him! <laughs> Die, pig! <laughs> 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 Oh! 
Head Mill, Gwynblade. I no longer feel the pain. Always wanted to die among trees. Cedric, what happened? Triss asked me for help. I killed the Dwan guarding the door, and we broke in. Again, I killed a Dwan. I know. Where's Triss? A Witcher came in. Attacked us. I tried to protect Triss. He was fast. Too fast for me. He hit Triss before she could cast a spell. He knew how to fight a sorceress. Then he ordered her to activate the Megascope. He needed to get to Eden, near the dwarven town of Vergen. Triss said it was madness, but she didn't have the coordinates. He gave her a strange look, threatening. Better give it your best. You're going first, with me right behind you. Then I passed out. When I woke, they were gone. I knew I was dying. The forest called me. Why, Cedric? Why did you get involved? Why did you? Sometimes we must. Have I told you about my visions? That's why I drink. It helps. I'm safe in a mist of vodka. See nothing, feel nothing. Cedric, calm down. But now I see clearly. You need to regain your memory. Only then will you understand who's killing crowned Dwan. And why. How can I get it back? In Edder. In a place tainted with dark magic. Where ghosts of the fallen will fight a great battle. Save their souls, and your memory will return. What's happening with the forest? I feel a presence. Geralt, where have you been? The Kingslayer, dammit. I almost had him. He fled. Teleported to Edern. What? How? He forced Triss to cast the spell. Shit. Roach sent me to find you. We're setting off. He's learned something new. The Scoyatel are also up to something big. What do you know about the Scoyatel, Zoltan? They want to free Yorvef and the other prisoners. Your help will be crucial. When did you join the Scoyatel, Zoltan? It's not like that. They're taking the prisoners to Drakenburg. A special prison for non-humans. Bloody monument to human hatred. The Scoyatel don't trust you. Nor me, for that matter. But you can change that. What's Roach planning? He went off on Laredo, so it must concern the Commandant. It's something important. I'll talk to them. Maybe Roach or the Scoyatel can finally be useful.
Watch Vernon's yourself, Gerald. Inside. How did it go? Did you get him? The Kingslayer fled to Vergen in Edirne. He forced Triss to teleport them both. Damn, he's made a mockery of us. If that's how he wants to play, I'll make him regret it. I heard you have news for me. Lorido has a deal with Kedwin. That merchant living in his house is Hensolt's agent. For a pouch of gold, the good commandant promised to support Kedwini troops in the event of a conflict. So what now? I want that spy to squeeze him for information. And I've sentenced Commandant Lorido to death. Roach, we have to sail. We need to get to Edern. I'm not leaving until I deal with Lorido. The spy may know something about the Kingslayers. I wouldn't be surprised if Henselt of Kedwin was behind all this. All right, let's deal with this spy. Listen very carefully. I'm not repeating this. We have two targets. The first is a Kedwini spy, Arnold Malaga. I want him alive. The other is Bernard Lorido, the trading post commander and a traitor to Temeria. We don't let his kind live. Arnold almost never leaves the residence, so we need to strike there. To get inside, we'll use Vess's unusual talents and Bernard's habits. Stop calling him by his first name. It really rubs me the wrong way. Whatever you wish. Lorido's house. The first floor contains guest quarters. Geralt had the opportunity to take a look. Regular patrols. Second floor, Lorido's bodyguards' quarters. They think they're the toughest warriors this side of the Yoruga, but really they're lame drowners dressed in colorful gambesons. Third floor, the lion's den. Here Lorido stores plundered valuables. It's where he sleeps, shits, and wanks off while staring at the statuette of a she-elf. Only the following are allowed to enter. Arnold Malaga, Lorido's mother, his cousin, and whores. <laughs> I'm not sure I still have that frog. After making his round at the trading post, Lorido always orders two ladies. Vess will act as one of them. The house is a bloody fortress, but Lorido had it enlarged. The Witcher will enter through the extension. Vess will open a window for you. Once in, you'll have to improvise, Geralt, but you'll have the element of surprise. Vess can hold her own, too. Zenon and Rickard will cover you from vantage points. If things get hot, lure those horsens near the windows. I'll be in the courtyard with the rest, ready to enter in the extreme. I repeat, in the extreme. That's all. Any questions? No? Let's get to work. Vernon's waiting inside. Your chariot awaits, fair youth. The good spirits of this tower will guide and protect you. <laughs> Oh! <laughs> 
Hello, you. What do you want? The key to the upper quarters. I know you have it. You want to free the elven girl? Your efforts are in vain. Like in Ithlene's prophecy, the seed has been planted and will soon. Shut up and give me the key. The key. The key. Uh, where did I put it? <laughs>
and die in pain! I'll do the world a favor! Come now, Lorido! Shriveling! Geralt, we've no time to lose. She needs help. We need to get her out of here. Thanks, Geralt. I heard something behind that door. Leave me here. Please. You don't look like a whore, Elf. My name is Morrill. What month is it? This is no time to chat. Can you walk? I'll not stay here any longer. Even if I must crawl out. She won't make it through the garden, Geralt. We must leave by the front. Lead the way. We'll be right behind you. So, what month is it? Lammas. Autumn's begun. When they kidnapped me. It was snowing. And the child's father is... This child has only a mother. When I realized I was pregnant... I... I can't make it. I think I... Damn! The water broke. There will change of plans. But... Back to the tower. I need a clean bed, hot water and some time. We can't be disturbed. Go get help! Warning! Intruder in the tower! Geralt, I see we're in time. Where have you been, Roach? A little problem along the way. Ah! 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 Ah!
defeated by a Dwan. I must be getting old. What now? Consider yourself lucky. Though you deserve torture, I lack the means, so I'll simply lop off your head. You'll die a warrior's death. I don't regret a thing. Impending death has addled your mind. I don't regret that it's you. After so many years, it would be stupid to die from an accidental bolt in the eye. Or worse yet, influenza. Damn! Lucky again, your archers approach. I defeated you once, Jorvel, and I can do it again. Remember that. We shall see about that, friend. We shall see. The horseman ran away, but I'm sure he'll show up again. Bloody non-humans. Enough of your Veth. What's with Lorido and where's Vess? Lorido's dead. I saved Vess, barely. What happened? Your plan was hardly the most. A boy, Geralt! A healthy What's boy! It? Whose child is that? Morals. Whose? We found an elf woman Lorido kidnapped almost a year ago. He was the father. I'd never touch a she-elf. Enough! We don't have time for that. The ship's waiting. Why did you do it? Why? <laughs> Don't touch me! I hate this town. Prepare the boat. We sail immediately. What about the kid? It's not coming with us. And who in this hellhole will take in a half-breed? Saharam. Take it to Saharam in Lobenden. And make sure to tell him it's Morrill's child. <laughs> 